Hey guys, Puff Game Bad today, bringing out a video, and today, a pleasant surprise in gaming. We have Insurgency Sandstorm here on consoles for the Gen 9 update for the next generation PS5 and Xboxes. So this is a free update if you already own the game, available for the Xbox Series S and X and PlayStation 5. So just jumping into some things here I wanted to show off, is you can see, first off, when you install the update for free, first off, you'll see... If I go back here, I have my PS5 version, and then here I have my PS4 version. So with the PS4 version, what I did is just kind of come down into here on my PlayStation, and then there was an option to the right to download the PS5 version, or if you're on PlayStation, PlayStation Store, or the Xbox Store, if you already own the game, it will be available for free if you're logged in on the same account on that console. So I got the PlayStation 5 version here for free, all content, does transfer over from your previous account if you're logged into that account. However, cosmetics and things like that, you can see for security and insurgents, all my pre-made operators need to be remade, which isn't isn't the end of the world whatsoever. That's kind of why I'm keeping my PlayStation 4 version on the game on the console. That way I can go back and forth and see, you know, what I what what I had for presets, things like that, in case I want to before I delete it. So because I'm logged in on the same account, I have all of the um, all the unlocks, all purchases, cosmetics, weapon skins, all of that. Now, if you guys are, we'll go ahead, you have basic training, range, and lessons. We'll go into the range here, just show off some things here. Now, if you guys are new to the game, if you're just buying this for the first time or you haven't played in a while, I'll link down below. I have an everything you need to know about Insurgency Sandstorm video that I did when this originally came to console. All of that is still applicable to this today since there's no major changes to the game. It's just a update for the Gen 9 versions of the console so what this did we'll go ahead first off my operator now this is again this is just my favorite thing to do here is come into the the shooting range i just want to show you guys you should be able to see right off the bat the lighting the graphics everything just looks night and day um better here i would say so let's go ahead and just let's make a make a weapon here we'll get into it show off some things in game and then i'll go through some of the updates here that we have with this so one thing that i i really really liked here is just playing with the different weapons how everything f not only looked felt like everything just just felt so much better um here on the gen 9 update now this again came out of nowhere we had no idea that this was even uh even coming so we'll go ahead and do our honey badger here do the suppressor for our inter interview suppressed barrel do a little recoil grip and a laser light there. So do that PEC 15 on the right hand side. Look at, I mean, just here in the in the um, in the training factory here, building our weapons, everything looks so much more crisp. So this looks awesome. Uh, big fan of how everything looks. We'll go ahead and deploy and just kind of mess around with this. So we'll go ahead and jump down. Now the things here you should be able to see just right off the bat. I'll switch to semi. You can see just how nice it looks. Let's full auto it. It looks so much better and it feels so much more better and responsive than it did on the last gen versions of consoles, for sure. So it feels way better, it looks way better. Now, some things that they updated here with the Gen 9 version are obviously making it available for uh, Gen 9 being Xbox Series X, S, and PlayStation 5. Now, what they did here is they did, um, I'll go through the, I'm trying to do the gameplay and look at the same time. So, native 4K resolution and 60 frames per second, 1080p on Xbox Series X. HD textures, which I think is pretty obvious. You can see this here um, compared to the previous gen of consoles and haptic feedback and activities on PlayStation 5. So how do you get the Gen 9 update? Like I said, it's all for free. You can get it that way um, just by going to the store like I showed you in the beginning of the video. Now there's a lot of cool things here. First off, one thing to note, there's some bugs and issues going on that they've made note of in the blog post, which I will list down below. If I hold my comms, you can see on the, the left-hand side, they're disabled for the comms. Right, I'm holding L1 here on PlayStation 5 to do what I would talk to my team in multiplayer. Um, and it's saying disabled. So this is a known issue. Voice chat disabled. Player voice chat may appear disabled. Um, in voice chat overlay. While we're working on the issue, temporary workaround is to reinstall the game. So if that's something you're seeing, 
and obviously you need to communicate in this game so just uninstall and reinstall it and hopefully it fixes the issue otherwise um, I would recommend everybody should have discord available on their consoles at this point or in game chat with your with your buddies um, do it that way in the meantime while they're working on this there's crashes that they're aware of also they're kind of getting they're working on those um, blood guts and gore content has been scaled down for console uh, or at least the, the time the amount of time they stay on the map like the blood uh, speeding out of the the bodies and things like that has been um, dialed down to just just a few seconds so that's again something that's being looked at and they'll up that eventually here soon other things here going on for the gen 9 update what it in, what it includes we went over um how do you get it current account like i said all in-game content and things that you had will be available you just gotta rebuild everything so all my guns attachments dlc packs i bought everything like that is there um, they're also working on server stability. So currently in development is server stability, um, console cross play they're working on console cross play. So you can play PlayStation here. I should be able to play with my, uh, Xbox friends, which is big. A couple members of the community that I would love to play with here on, uh, Xbox. So that'll be a big thing. Mod support, mod support on consoles has always been a big conversation. Um, that is not going to be available. So they are not doing mod support on the consoles. That's still just going to be a PC exclusive um, portion of the game. So we've covered the mods here on the game before, like the ISMC mod. A lot of fun, really great mod support. But again, it will not be available here um, for the Gen 9 versions. Other things they addressed were the limited time game modes. So limited time game modes um will not be made permanent because i don't want to stretch out the player base so that's one thing um other stuff that they address here in this blog post is um ai behavior being worked on mouse and keyboard support xbox game pass is cross play with pc you guys can do that um, playstation cross play with pc doesn't appear to be a thing which is completely fine but i think the ability to cross play with um yeah. with xbox is the biggest thing for me that i'm looking forward to so you can see here in the firing range if you guys aren't familiar with it again like i did the video which i linked down below for um everything you need to know so here we're running the honey badge let's just see how it handles try not to die here oh god Oh God, very bad aim, very bad aim. Gonna die, gonna die. But you can, should be able to see like just how good it looks here. Oh no. So how good it looks just looks amazing. Um, big fan of this, you can use the range computer. If you guys are new to all this, use the range computer here. Now again, this honey badge is firing 300 blackouts. So the, uh, wow, I just got annihilated there. The, um, the rounds are going to be slower on this because it is 300 blackouts. So let's go ahead and try that again, and then I'll show off just a little bit of a uh, little bit of some stuff here to show you guys just gameplay wise that I cover in the other video, but I wanted to show off. Just really the point of this video is to make you guys aware that this is a thing. Because I feel like a lot of people, this kind of came under the radar. It wasn't really uh, wasn't really any announcements for this. They just kind of made a, a post on X, and then I saw it, and other people saw it. So definitely, uh, if you guys haven't played this in a while, I would recommend downloading it. This is definitely one of my favorite, if not my favorite games on console. Now it looks it looks next-gen right now. Like This, this looks beautiful, com especially compared to the PS4. I was playing the PS4 version here um, a couple days ago, actually. We were talking about this on the scope. This just obviously looks so much better. It handles better. Everything just looks, the textures look great. So some things here, in case you guys weren't aware, just some basics here that I'll go over in that other video. So I recommend after this, go link that. I'll link that down below. And again, just go look at it. So this is going to be mainly PS5 information that you would need to know. First off, laser. If you have a laser on, it's going to be right on the D-pad, off, on. So there's no crosshairs, obviously. You need to use your laser if you're gonna be hip firing, right? So 
If I'm hip firing, a lot of the gameplay will probably do a stream this week, but I'm using that laser. That's my point. I'm going to be point shooting with the laser like that. And then obviously um, with the laser off on, obviously I have my red dot there, so it's not going to make a difference, but different situations where you'd want it on and off, you can't, no crosshair. So that's what you're aiming with. Now, um, adjusting optics, right? I'm going to need to be ADSing and then left on the d-pad to do my different types of hybrid optics there switch those back and forth up on the d-pad is going to be my select fire options and now if i hold r1 in this case <clears throat> it'll allow me to, to switch to pistols grenades for example so i can cook that and pull the pin like you can see there are the directions on the screen i can double tap r1 to go to my pistol Now, and then I can want single tap it to go back to my primary, my honey badger in this case. So something cool here is obviously square is your reload. Whoops, that was the wrong thing. So square is gonna be reload. So if I switch to full auto, looks awesome. So I can see here by holding square, okay, my magazine count is out. I can see where my magazine status is. I can tap square to do a regular reload or I can double tap square to do a quick reload. So if I'm under pressure, double tap square, it's gonna flick that mag out. I'm gonna lose the mag, right? So that mag is gone. I cannot pick that mag back up as opposed to um, a regular reload, which I don't have another mag, or do I? Nope, I don't have another magazine to, to use. So the regular reload is gonna be slower, obviously, but if you're under fire in combat, you're gonna wanna use that quick that quick reload. So let's try a regular reload here. We'll move on up. So that's a regular reload versus a quick reload. So there you go. The game looks awesome. Now again, to lean, you need to be ADS. On PlayStation, it's going to be right, right thumbstick. So L3. I'll lean and I can, I can pie corners like that if I need to go to the right. It's just R3 or right thumbstick. Push that down to lean. Crouch is circle. Now I can I can run and do a slide here. But you can see it's a slide to get behind cover, right? You're not like slide canceling like Call of Duty. It's just simply to get behind cover. If you were to try this, you have inertia and movement. Like you're not going to be able to do any sort of like slide canceling or any garbage like that. This is, I think, is how, you know, how it should be in COD. Um... But Call of Duty's gone in a different direction with their game. So you can hold that to slide prone. Everything here. If you guys haven't played this, definitely want to check it out. And again, here you can run against different AI. You can bring in um, you can bring in cars, right? If I can go up to this panel here and hold it, I can reset enemies. I can bring in an enemy squad, enemy enemy uh, vehicle, which is a technical, or an enemy helicopter, which I would want like something like a anti-air missile, which is available here on the table also. But if you guys are new to this, definitely check this out. Again, you can change weapons in here. So if we were to switch up weapons, let's go, let's check out. They recent, recently added an MDR. So the Desert Tech MDR chamber to 762 by 51, I think is um, a really, really nice weapon. So this is one of my... This is one of my favorite weapons. I've always wanted to see this added to um, Call of Duty, which is the first, for whatever reason, they haven't added a, a, a Desert Tech MDR at all. Run a 30 round mag on that bad boy. And for the under barrel, we'll go ahead with the recoil grip. So there's our Desert Tech MDR. Like you can just see the textures look just look so much better here. Let's go ahead and now we'll back out, right? So here is our MDR. We'll switch to semi. Let's go ahead and call in some enemies and see how we do here. So you can see the tips in here. I'd, I would highly recommend doing the training. Get domed. Oh boy. Oh, I don't wanna burn. Oh my God. Oh shit. Now I got a quick reload because I'm under, I'm getting pinched here. You, 
can pen through through the car and stuff depending on the caliber so it's all based on caliber they do look very very close to real world ballistics on this full auto that guy the reload animation is just awesome there Let's see if we got anybody else nope no one else so that's how you guys can train Full auto, like, for whatever reason, I don't know what it is here on Next Gen, it just feels a lot better in sustained full auto. I don't know if it's the controller on PS5, but, I again, I was playing it. I was playing the last gen version on the PS5 um, and not able to... The recoil's never been crazy, crazy, depending on the weapon, but it, for whatever reason, everything, the movement, I think the, the native 4K, 60 frames per second, just makes this game feel much better, especially with the... HD textures and everything like that like the game just feels night and day better than it did on the previous version So if you guys haven't checked this out, go ahead and check it out. I'll leave that video down below like I said for the uh, For the uh, Everything you need to know about it and again definitely come in here and just play around like the, the game The game looks awesome play around here in the firing range and just kind of get the hang of things and have a good time it, experiment with different guns and get, get a hang for the game with the controls so like here's the as val like it just you know amazing everything this looks i can't express how much better it looks here in this version versus the ps4 version so this was a really nice surprise be running some more um hardcore checkpoints here on the ps5 coming up for you guys um probably tomorrow maybe do a little live stream here with some community members like rylan or a man named Nobody and some other folks, so. Big fan, the AS Valley, like, just look. This is this is the game. Honestly, Sandstorm is the perfect game for me. I hope that, you, that we get more support for this. And speaking of, in the blog post, they said that they have a full year of support coming. So whatever with the studio getting shut down that we heard of end of last year, apparently they're getting more support. So I don't really know... How that's possible if the studio was being shut down, but I'm not going to argue with it. The AS file just looking really, really nice. Let's see if we can get a little thumbnail action over here. That looks pretty. So that's our AS file. Buffered Gaming, Insurgency Sandstorm Gen 9 update out of nowhere for free if you previously own the game. Blog post is down below. My Everything You Need to Know video is also linked down below in the description. Check that out if you're new or returning player. Everything you need to know about, about the game, cosmetics, banking, your operator, game modes. You guys can do local play, all that stuff. Let me know your thoughts down below. Till next time, Buffered Gaming with Gen 9 of Sandstorm. Buffered Gaming, out.